everybody, welcome back. It's Saturday, the day before Easter, and it's nice today. Yesterday it snowed, yay, yay for the snow. And I spent the day in bed because the weather changed and my fibromyalgia acted up. So today I'm gonna go check on the garden in my little compost area. My husband over here, he's been working in his little garage He's organizing. He hasn't had time to do never that. Never ending job. It's never ending. Trust me, it's never ending. But he has put pipes in the garden. Yeah, I took, uh, I cut PVC pipe to put in to hold the one inch galvanized pipe for the fencing for the garden. Um, I got upset over now, we'll take a look at them. I'm gonna have to cut the other ones in half because for one, I don't need to be six feet tall, but. I'm gonna cut those in half and make two out of one, so I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all over. We'll go check it out. Let's go check it out. The poles, I, you can see the poles he's got put in here. So what is your plan with the? Well, I'm gonna cut these poles off on this garden, on this bed, right here, this high, all the way across. So, so it'll all be about, not quite five foot, but about four foot, a couple inches. This way I put a four, fence, four, four, four foot fence from here and panels. So basically you could take this out, this out, and take the whole side out. So that way it'll keep all the animals out. Keep the animals out if you want to go in to, to weed or to till or to pick whatever you're planting or uh, organize things. You could do that without taking the whole thing apart. Okay. It'll be all the same size. Okay, this one will be the same way. This will be a panel, that'll be a panel, 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 panel. On this one, I'm gonna make it shorter. I'm planning on putting all the taller plants over here and the smaller plants over here, like hot peppers and beans and stuff like this here. I'll cut the pipes off to about here. Okay. So it'll be smaller shorter but it'd be the same principle panel a panel a panel a panel a panel, a panel, a panel, a panel. this way when you want to get in to do anything you just pull up one section do your thing and then put it back and walk away great idea this will keep the animals I, out i'm worried about deer because deer come through a lot and it's, this it's, is deer it's, alley it's, here fence will be as high so it's still high enough deer won't get into it i also put some a ribbon or something at the end of it to uh, scare them off and um, hair. When I get my hair cut, I'll save a clipping and put it on the garden. Why? Deer don't like, deer, deer don't like human hair. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. Didn't know that. Alright, let's go check out the compost and see how that's doing. I brought a pitchfork out in case I needed to like turn it over and stuff like that. But we've been adding, looks like I need to water it. We've been adding some stuff to it. I had my nephew bring out this, you know, little bit of stuff. But it looks like I'm going to turn it over and water it real good. All right, I'm going to try to figure out a way to set you somewhere. I don't have my, oh, there. My tripod is in the house, so I don't know. If this works, we'll see. But I'm going to try to turn this over. I think we might need to add a little more dirt to this. Do we have more bags of dirt? We do. We've got topsoil coming in. Oh, okay. My husband has topsoil coming in. A whole bunch of it. And we'll just throw some of that in here. All right. Well, I'm going to get the hose and water this. Because I can't really turn anything over until we add more dirt in here. There's quite a bit of dirt there. It's not, I mean, it's still, it's damp. It's not bad. That's probably where the kids dumped the most of the dirt over here the other day. Yeah, I had them try to spread it out, but. I also might go buy some night crawlers at a, like a fishing store where you get worms and stuff. I'd wait a while. Get some compost going here, because if you see inside here, yeah. The worms are already in the, already in the bed, already in here. 
The worms are in the bed already? Cool. You see it? See right here? We're going to look at something. This is, now we put a, little like little a holes. base down with rocks and dirt. Little holes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. So, so there are bed worms in here? They're already coming in. They're already coming through here. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good to know. And if you notice that the bottom of it is kind of, it's rocky and, you know, dirt and stuff. This was around the we foundation had, of that house. Yeah, around that house they dug out the foundation. So we were able to put, we filled half the beds up with this. And there's some other stuff under there too. And then um, he's going to fill the rest up with topsoil. Hopefully it'll come soon. Call me crazy, but I thought maybe I would go get a few worms and put them in here. I'm going to go collect a few more. Today's a worm hunting day. It's nice, you see, I have all these rocks beside my house. And sometimes I turn over a couple. See if there's any under here. Um, don't know what that thing is, but don't want it. I think it's a centipede. Okay, it can stay there. So we're going on a worm hunt. All right, let's look under this one. Oh, there's some. Look at that big worm. No, that's a big little worm. There's a little worm. I know. I'm crazy, right? Okay. Let's check this one. Nope. Alright, well, I'm going to go look for some worms. Okay, well, my worm search was successful. My grandsons would be proud. They would be proud of me. Let's put them in the compost area. Hopefully, they'll stay in here get off me. Hopefully they'll stay. I don't know. And produce more worms. That would be great. I thought we could check out my little greenhouse here. I don't know. Did you guys see my little build on my greenhouse? These plants are doing really good. I've got, I just pulled the plastic back so you could see. I've got little cucumbers coming up now. And lettuce. That, that was just a, like a trial lettuce to see if I liked it or anything. I'm going to get a bigger thing and just keep lettuce in here, I think, so the animals don't eat it. These are peppers that my little granddaughter planted. The little red and we got them from the grocery store and we uh, ate the peppers and I said, let's try to plant these seeds. So she did that. And then down here... I've had to replant a couple things. What I really want, back here I have Hungarian hot wax peppers, so I just replanted those because they don't seem, I don't know, they don't seem like they're all coming up there. And over here is like an Amish paste tomato. I really want this, so I planted actual just Romas in here to see if those would come up better. I, those and those, is, those are the ones I really want. They're not really coming up well. These are green peppers. And these are big boy tomatoes. And I got two plants coming up. See, two plants. I, I'm just going to leave them like that, I think, and plant them. I think. And then over here, I've got planted flocks. These. I love flocks. I, I just absolutely love phlox, so I thought I would try to grow them in here and then plant them outside. And I'm going to do them, those are purple ones, and I'm going to do them like in a log. We're going to set up a log. But I've noticed that it's not very warm in here. Uh, it's not really warm, it's cold. It's cold in here. It's not as warm as I thought it would be, so we have this heater here. This heater, this little heater. And I'm going to put it at the bottom down there and see, turn it on and warm it up just a little bit in there. Put the plastic back over the cover it up. I don't know. 
I, I don't know. But I'm going to try it and see. I'm going to try it and just see. I don't know. You guys see <laughs> oh, my Lysol. This is alcohol. And this, I don't know. You guys have muscle pain. I have learned this is the best ever. That's, that's the best stuff ever. I have a rod in my spine and that takes the pain away. I can, it, it, it's in its spray. This is a spray can nozzle. You spray it and I can reach my rod because it's in the center of my back. So I'm going to try to put that heater in there just to warm things up. I don't know. My husband said, just please don't catch the house on fire. Okay, I'll, I won't do that. I'm going to try not to do that anyway. All right, I'm on the floor. I got this little heater set in here. And wouldn't you know that it has a little timer on it? And goes off. So maybe I, I don't, I'll figure it out. I will figure this out. But it's blowing heat, and if I have it on the bottom, I'll watch it and figure it out. I should get it like a, I should get a thermometer in here to see how warm it gets. <coughs> there goes my dog. I don't know what's going on with my hair, but I really should do that. Hang it in there just to see how warm it gets. Oh, the heater went off. So evidently, maybe if I keep it there. I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out. Alright, I turned it on its back. It should be okay. It's blowing heat straight up. Maybe I shouldn't have it blowing straight up. I don't know. But it's set to go off. I'll cover it back up and really watch it and see what it does. Because I don't want to get too dried out. There was a candle. I had a candle sitting in there. I did take that out because I don't want that to melt. I'll let you know in my next video or so how that worked. My husband might have a, a, ther a thermometer thing in the garage. I bet he does. He has a lot of stuff in his garage. Trust me. All right. If you like my video, thumbs up. And thank you for the 300 subscribers. I have 300 subscribers now. That is pretty cool. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.